Last year, I wanted to take my language learning a little bit more seriously, so I downloaded the program called Anki. And everyone was praising it back then because it was basically a space repetition based flashcard program that allowed you to learn almost anything at a really, really great efficiency. So since everyone was praising it, I too thought it was pretty much the holy grail of learning anything. And even though I did make a lot of progress using it, I was still pretty much a slave to it for 12 entire months. And I would have done stuff a lot differently if I had learned uh, what I will talk about in this video. First, let's talk about the quality of cards. So it's better to spend a little bit more time crafting a card and spending more time um, individually creating a card than to uh, just make a card in two seconds. So for example, if you have this card right here, you have the Spanish definition on the front and then the English definition on the back. And even though I do have two definitions, um, I can learn what this word means, but it's still not gonna be as easy enough getting it into my head. But compared to this card, for example, so I have three entire definitions. I have, sorry, the Spanish definition on the front, and then on the back I have three English definitions. So that's um, more, more ways I know how to use a card. And on top of that, I can read example sentences. So even if I don't get what the card means here, then I have um, example sentences to help me out. And uh, this helps a lot in terms of really grasping what the card means. At the moment, I'm having to go through thousands of cards that were badly made with the English definition on the front and then the foreign language definition on the back. And it's so time consuming. So trust me, you want to make your cards right the first time and then you won't have to suspend or delete them later. And because I didn't really understand the algorithm completely, I got in this really bad habit of pressing the hard button instead of the again button. And what this does is that the hard button decreases the ease level and you're not really seeing the card in the same day. And it's a lot better to use the again button. Watching Matt vs. Pan's video really helped me on determining what I was doing wrong and it really opened my eyes on <laughs> that I was doing it wrong this entire time. So if you want a complete crash course on, what, on how the algorithm works, you should watch that video. So as compared to what I did differently from then compared to now, um, this number, which is the new interval, I changed this from 0% to 50%. So let's say you had a six month old card, which is, you know, the next, the next time you're gonna see it is in six months. So if you press again or, you know, fail on that card, then the interval on that is gonna get sent from six months all the way down to just one day. And I, I didn't wanna press, or I didn't wanna um, lose that entire six months just because I messed up one time and that's why I overused the hard button. So um, using the 50% now instead of 0% means that instead of going from six months to one day, or I guess zero days technically, it went from six months to three months, then field again, it went from six, from three months, 1.5 months, and so on. So it was just a gradual going down if you kept failing it, instead of just failing it one time, then having it sent down to one day. Another feature that you should use as compared to what I did is actually use the suspend card feature. So if you, if you fail a card a certain number of times, which is gonna be, well, this number of times, then um, it's gonna automatically suspend the card, which will mean that you won't see it anymore, and then you have to go to your list, and then um, you can delete it there or edit it but it's just a way to get it out of, um, out of your list so that you can edit it later. And you should definitely do that as compared to what I did, which was trying to brute force memorizing everything. The program is simply just a reinforcement measure to make sure that you didn't forget anything that you've already learned. And it's good to understand it first and then memorize it later. You should not overdo it when it comes to this program. So my style of, of, keeping, of maintaining my Spanish and improving my Mandarin a lot was that I would basically develop a backlog of cards, and this would be like thousands of cards big. I think right now in Mandarin it's 3,000 cards, and in Spanish it's 1,000 cards. So even if I didn't do any immersion, then new cards would come from there, and I'd feel proud of myself every day that I've, you know, I've learned something from as compared to yesterday, even if I didn't really study for that day, because I would always do my Anki reps every day. But the thing that was really terrible was that I was spending more time looking things up in the dictionary. And I was spending more time making cards and studying Anki than actually immersing in the language. And this is something that I totally would have done differently compared to now. Like, you know, immerse first and, you know, watch shows and read and whatever, and then Anki comes second. But you should spend most of your time immersing and actually rawly interacting with the language as compared to, uh, or compared to doing flashcards. Flashcards should be less and then immersing should be more. And a lot of times I would stress out over having like a perfect streak. Like I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to take naps because I would have like nightmares of like, oh, what happens if I if I mess up my streak and I I have this this whole long streak going on, and on top of that, um, 
sometimes just wouldn't even spend time with my family or I wouldn't watch a movie because, oh no, I gotta complete my reps. I gotta do that before I go to bed. And it was just starting to take over my life and it was really bad for my mental health. Oh, and also um, not getting good enough sleep also hurt a lot with it too. So over the past couple months, I've been getting the bad habit of doing my reps right before I go to bed. And I would always stay up a little bit later completing my reps than just um, probably doing them earlier in the day. And this was a bad habit as well. Moderation is really key when it comes to this program. So don't be afraid to drop the new amount of cards that are coming in every single day. So by default, the new amount of cards is 20, but I've dropped this down to 10 to give myself, you know, a little bit more breathing room. And if this feels too much, you can drop down to uh, any number you want. Um, you should tailor it to compared to how much time that you have. You shouldn't let Anki determine how much time you, you have. So time for some concluding thoughts. So first of all is to understand um, understand the concept first and then try to memorize it later. So if you're trying to memorize a new vocabulary word in a foreign language, you should understand uh, what the card means beforehand and you know um, try to really understand how it's used within a sentence and then you put that into the Anki deck. Because the time, the time you're spending reviewing Anki shouldn't be the time that you're actually learning it. That should be beforehand. Press the again button instead of the hard button. It's really going to help you in the long run if you use the again instead of hard. And finally, uh, don't be afraid to drop the amount of new cards coming in. And um, even though you should be completing you know, all of your reps every single day, you, it's okay to drop the number of new cards that are coming in every day. Yeah, thanks for watching. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, then tell me why you dislike it in the comments. If you did neither, then I don't know, like it. You know, I, <laughs> and I might do more, more of these types of videos in the future, but it's just, it's a matter of finding the time and also um, finding the topics in order to do it. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. The foreign language um, answer. And it's, what am I talking about? First, let's talk about the quality of cards you make. So it's better to make, make what? The thing that really sucked is that I was spending more time the, uh, so you should you should be spending more whoops moderation is really key when it comes to this program so don't be afraid to decrease the amount of new cards that are coming that are coming into you every day why did i say it like that next talk about time management um how do i forget what i'm about to say next talk about time management so anki is a supplement um i just blanked out at the moment right now i'm having to go through probably thousands of yes definitely thousands of cards yeah, thousands. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a... Um, sounds so cringe. What? I've been recording for 22 minutes?